<laughs> you can't make this up, man. You really can't. So on August 1st, the New York Post reported that the controversial activist Sean King's Progressive Political Action Committee paid a California breeder more than $40,000 for a hulking guard dog. But he apparently returned the powerful pooch because it had too much energy. The grassroots law pact made a pair of payments to Patero Performance Dogs that included a $10,000 contractor deposit on December 6th, Federal Election Commission records show. About two months later, the PAC, which seeks to end oppressive policing, incarceration, and injustice, paid Patero another $30,650, the record shows. Within days, King posted on Facebook that he'd welcomed a new member of the King family, a mastiff named Mars, the Washington Free Beacon said. King's post, which is no longer publicly accessible, says Mars would serve double duty providing alertness and protection and as a family pet, according to the Free Beacon. Personally, whatever Sean King wants to do with his donor money is none of my business because I don't donate to his pack, nor do I support the organization Black Lives Matter because as far as I'm concerned, it's a scam perpetuated by limousine Marxists who consciously exploited black trauma to get donations and then run off with the bag. I, like I make a delineation when people ask me about Black Lives Matter, for instance. Black Lives Matter, the sentiment, I can get down with. Black Lives Matter, the organization, I cannot. And why is that? Because they are not for the same thing. So They're what do you not. think? The, 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 the leader, the, the founders of Black Matter, like the founders of Black Lives Matter literally just came out and basically said she's a trained Marxist. She didn't basically say it, she said it blatantly. She's a trained Marxist. The first thing I think is that we actually do have an ideological frame. Um, myself and Alicia in particular are trained organizers. Um, we uh, are trained Marxists. However... There were enough people who had a problem with Sean King spending $40,000 of pack money to buy a dog that he had to make an Instagram post justifying it where he says, I have to say some things that I've worked hard to keep private for the safety and security of my family. But I need you to know this so that you understand why our family not only needs a guard dog at home, but 24 seven security wherever we go. White supremacists and people who've meant my family harm have now shown up to our last three homes multiple times. Look, I'm a 2A advocate who waxes poetic in all of my videos about how you are your own first responder. So I don't have a problem with someone wanting a guard dog to help protect their family. However, he then continues on to say this. Before you talk about how I should defend myself with guns, New York City won't even allow me to have a gun. New Jersey doesn't have a stand your ground laws and hardly allows you to even own guns. News outlets have shown our home in exact location online, which then caused a slew of strangers to show up at our home. What? Bro, what are you talking about, man? Wait a minute. Is this the same Sean King who also said this? Refused to pass even the most basic common sense gun reforms. Mm. And the politicians and the regular everyday people are like, should have had more guns. We're the only nation in the world that has more guns than people. And then a church full of people get killed and people are like, if we had more guns. So the same guy who's complaining about not being able to buy a gun for protection because of the laws in New York and New Jersey is the same guy claiming there weren't enough gun laws in New York to stop the Buffalo shooting. Honestly, anyone who can maintain this level of contradiction in their brain is a psychopath. You voted for the conditions in which you are currently existing in. Do you know how dumb you have to be to build a platform preaching about the dangers of white supremacy and the police, and then in the same breath advocate for gun control, which would mean you have to rely on the same police that you vilify to protect you? You scream about the injustices that black communities face from the system, but then turn around and tell black people to put their safety in the hands of the same system that you claim is oppressing them. What kind of backwards advocacy is this? Hell, look how it's working for you. You have to spend $40,000 on a dog you don't even like for your protection because you live in a state that won't let you spend a few hundred dollars to buy a gun to protect yourself. Do you not see or hear how ridiculous this sounds? It doesn't take a genius to see how gun control laws 
aren't helping you in this situation. It doesn't take a genius to see how so-called the lack of stand your ground or a lack of a castle doctrine isn't helping you here. Gun control makes people feel safe, but in reality, it makes you unsafe because when it comes time to actually have to protect yourself for real threats, the government is not going to be there to save you. You'll have to save yourself. You can't do that if you're constantly giving up your rights to people who can afford to have armed guards and live in gated communities. Sean King, if you truly cared about keeping your family safe, you wouldn't be advocating against the one amendment designed to give you the best ability to protect your family. As far as the second amendment is concerned, you're playing yourself. You're not only playing yourself, you're playing the people that follow you, the people that look to you for guidance. You're playing them too because you're telling them to put their safety into something they cannot depend on while in the same breath telling them they can't depend on it. It's just dumb. You really honestly need to take a step back and look at where you truly stand on this issue. And the interesting thing about it is the reason why I think he actually stands on the issue the way he does is because he's a leftist. And you can't be pro-gun and leftist, which is why I say all the time the Second Amendment should be nonpartisan. It shouldn't be divided on whether or not you're a Democrat or Republican, left or right. It's a natural right. It, there is no left or right Democrat or Republican. You need a firearm to protect yourself. That is the reality of it. Because cops can't be there in time. Because the government can't be there in time. You need a firearm to protect yourself under the Second Amendment. That's why it's there in the first place. Anybody can see this as long as you look past your stupid party identity politics bullshit. Don't forget, if you know, you know, Second Amendment shirt design. Some of y'all think y'all know the Second Amendment, but you really don't. And shop at shop.mysticallyonthewar.com. Of course, you got the AR-15s are essential because they are. They are. Um, and then also, for those of you who are looking to find out more information about uh, self-defense insurance, um, I'm going to put a link to USCCA at the bottom. And uh, yeah, do better, Sean King. You know how frightening it is to think about what happens in the moments before, during, and even days after having to use your gun in self-defense? When you first start carrying a gun for protection, it can be a very scary and nerve-wracking experience, especially if you haven't gotten the education and training you need to feel confident. I've been there myself hoping I never have to go through a self-defense shooting, which is why I'm a member of the USCCA. As a USCCA member, you can eliminate some of the stress of carrying a gun for protection by accessing the amazing wealth of firearm education, training, and current state-specific gun laws of your state or states you may travel to. This can help you be prepared for or hopefully even avoid a self-defense incident. As a bonus, members automatically become insured on the self-defense liability insurance policy purchased by an issue to the USCCA. Click below to learn more. I'm sure the YouTube algorithm is gonna do a phenomenal job of suppressing this message. So please share this video with as many people as you can so we can beat the algorithm and get our two-way message out to the masses. Also, don't forget to like this video and leave a comment and hit the bell and subscribe button.